Well, hello everyone. I am so excited to be back. I hope everyone has been doing well. I have not filmed long form content in such a long time and I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss it. <laughs> so thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking out my slate of the day and kind of chit chatting with me and seeing what I've been up to, kind of like a life update. <laughs> So, for starters, I've started juicing. I, it's been so great for me. I really love it. I enjoy it. Let me know if you juice and what are maybe some of your recipes. I'm so open to new ideas for making juices because it's really just been a life changer for me. So, with that said, let's get into the sleigh. So, in today's sleigh... I wanted to do something that was really soft but pretty. I didn't really want to do anything too dramatic because I didn't have a lot on my agenda today. I was just kind of going to hang out with my mom, run some errands, things of that nature. So I decided to go ahead and just keep the makeup soft glam per usual. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, I do a lot of like soft glam looks, um, very pretty, very easy to um, replicate and do on your own. This look is probably one that is the most highly requested from um, friends and family or people who know me in real life. They are always like so impressed with uh, my base makeup and the blend and how it all flows and melts into one another so I figured my first video back would be just that really focused on the base makeup and my process and how I really apply my makeup about how much time I actually spend blending and the work that it takes for me to accomplish the final look and it's actually not difficult at all it's very simple very straightforward so i hope that this video serves its purpose and can help or assist someone with their makeup application and for them not to feel overwhelmed or feel like it's something they actually can't do and realize it's actually something that they can do and they can do it well and feel confident in their makeup application and their own ability. So with that said, I do a lot of content over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram, you should do that. It's at MJ Daily Slay. And that's where I generally will do transitions and kind of fun content like that short form, um, which is my preferred type of content that I create. So if that's something you'd want to check out or something you'd find interesting, go ahead and check me out over on Instagram and give your girl a follow. <laughs> but what I've been into and what I've been up to lately is real estate. I am in the process of taking my courses so that I can become a real estate agent here in Texas. So that has really been taking up like a lot of my time and my energy and my focus. So because I have been just really like hyper focused on my real estate courses, I haven't really allocated much time to the creation of my content and that kind of has bothered me. I've done my best to kind of suppress the urge and want to film and create content because I love it so much and it just brings me so much joy. And I just have really gotten to a point to where I've got to fit it in. I'm, I'm going to fit it in and I'm going to get it done because I just really enjoy it. I really love makeup. I really love creating content and it just makes me so happy. So this is me starting anew, starting all over. Not really, but restarting and kind of re-anchoring myself and finding balance with doing 
the things that bring me joy, doing the things that I'm passionate about, because I understand that that's how I find my peace and that's how I find my happiness as well because I feel like suppressing the things that you love suppressing the things that bring you joy does not equate to happiness or peace or fulfillment and it's really been during the time that I've kind of put content creating on the back burner and focused on something else that's really this is the time that I have really realized that so I'm grateful for my hiatus for my break that I took but I think that where I am now and the headspace that I'm in I'm gonna do a much much better job with staying consistent because I am finding my balance. Now, that is not to say that I am not excited about uh, my new career in real estate. I am so pumped, so excited to start a new career, to learn something new. You know, like I'm such a knowledge junkie. Like I love to learn. I do not know why, but it's something in me that just loves learning something that I didn't know before, right? And then being able to master that craft and have a deeper understanding of something that you just didn't have before. (laughs) I don't know, but I love it. (laughs) So... I will be sure and keep y'all updated on how that's going and things of that nature. So I'm probably a month or two out before I actually find me like a brokerage to work for until I'm actually, you know, learning the ropes like out in the field. You know, I'm super excited about mentorship you know just getting mentorship and having someone teach me and show me yeah it's gonna be great I just know it's gonna be great and I'm not worried about it I know I hear all the things you know most people that get into this business you know they fail things of that nature I'm not discouraged at all about those things that I hear because I'm so confident in myself i'm so confident in my ability my capabilities and my work ethic i know me so and i understand giving yourself grace and giving yourself the time and opportunity to really um be great you know like to really hone in on that greatness that's in all of us now listen if you follow me on instagram then you absolutely know that back in like january 2023 i was on like this weight loss journey right and i was so determined and i had a meal regimen i had a workout schedule that i was staying on and i was actually doing really well and seeing great progress and when i tell you i have struggled and i have backslid so much it's i'm almost embarrassed i i'm i'm almost embarrassed but it goes back to the giving ourselves grace. Ooh, we have to learn to give ourselves grace and we have to learn to give ourselves realistic expectations and also hold ourselves accountable all at the same time, okay? It's, it's, it hasn't been easy for me and it's been up and down roller coaster ride for me with um, my weight loss journey. So that's been a thing for me during the time that I've been away, you know. So it's just, (sighs) furthermore, I was in a car accident earlier this year. That also set me back. So, you know, it's kind of like January, everybody gets excited. They 
regroup, you know, reset their intentions and set their goals for all the things they want to do that year. Well, I was intentional and I was set and I was ready to regroup and start again this January. And boom, I got into a really bad car accident. I had to go to physical therapy and see different type of specialists and just things of that nature. You know, all the things that happen when you get in a pretty bad accident and it sucks. <laughs> There's no other way I feel like I can describe it besides it sucks. And due to that and those injuries that kind of set me back, that really, really set me back and stopped my ability to move and use my body in ways that I used to be able to. You know, exercise was not a thing for real. So I had to slow down. I had to stop. So what happens when you slow down and stop? You know, what happens when your consistency, you know, kind of ceases to exist your progress does so unfortunately i saw and i felt myself kind of putting some of that weight that i had worked so hard to lose back on and so that became discouraging it really did so here i am starting again <laughs> Here I am starting again. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on how that's going. Well, <laughs> it's looking like we're getting about to the end of this look. And I like it. I don't know about you, but I like it. I'm doing my inner corner highlight right now, and that's probably my favorite part of this look. Yeah, it's definitely my, my favorite part. Not my, 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 my. <laughs> okay, I'm done laughing. That was wild. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well. It happens. It happens. <laughs> oh, I think after this, I get into my lips. And for the lips, I love me a nice neutral lip. So that's what I did. If you are curious or have any questions about... Um, what products I use to create this look, I will definitely have them listed down in the description box for you with all the names and brands. Um, just if you're curious, because naturally you can always use whatever brand of makeup you like or you prefer. And then there are people like me. If I like a certain makeup item that you have or that you use, <laughs> I want to know what color it is, where you got it from, the brand, the shade, <laughs> everything, because I want to buy that. I want to buy exactly that. So I get it I, and I totally understand. So that will be listed down there for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed spending this time with me. <laughs> and listening to me rant about some things that have been going on in my life and what's been going on with me since I haven't posted in a while and you've learned something or you were finally able to see my base routine <laughs> and how I get there. So yeah, this is the final look. This is the sleigh of the day. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you do not follow me on socials, go ahead and give me a follow. I love you. Stay great. And I see you in the next slay.
So 